Hi guys. Come on. Hi guys, welcome to the stream. Maybe keep your bag for a while and also. Well, we'll get the bag tomorrow sometime. Hopefully, if they know where it is. I have one pair of fucking underwear. I have, like, the those colorful ones that I'm not supposed to wear to work. That's literally it. So we'll see. Anyway. I'm supposed to wear them to work? No, you're supposed to. Uh, you're, like, anything that's, like, super bright and visible. And also, they're not comfortable. Um, but, like, socks and stuff like that have to be. Uh, all black or whatever. They're not really gonna show, but you know. Anyway, so we just got back from Colorado, from Denver, the big D E N of the C O. Brutus, don't cry. Come here. I'll chill. Jackie, Brutus wants to go out with you. Uh, and, you know, so we flew on United on the way back. We flew Frontier on the way there, and Frontier was a freaking mess. The, uh, it was pretty uncomfortable. Um, it wasn't as bad as, like, the randomized seating that I think Southwest does now, where it's kind of first come, first serve on seating. So if you're in a later zone, you don't get the option to sit with your significant other. Um... Which is just neat, and great, and wonderful, and smart, and fair. But, uh, United, our flight got delayed on the way back. Um, and then from there, not only did it continue to get delayed, um, we're gonna go ahead and do this now. And we're not gonna go in that room, because we don't have a backup key. But, uh... Got delayed multiple times. They switched it to multiple gates. We we switched gates about five times. Like, not not kidding, not exaggerating. Five times within the uh, span of an hour or an hour and a half. Uh, got delayed for a total of a uh, total of two and a half hours after getting to the place two hours early. Uh, at one point, I kind of was like hey, we need to um, figure out if they know where our bags are going. Since we were going to go to San Francisco and then uh, transfer from there, and when they changed it after the third change or so, they put us on a flight directly to Seattle. And everyone's like, oh, well, they send it on a different flight. They will they make sure that it gets to the destination more than anything else. This isn't the first time that I've had an issue with uh, with claiming a bag and then it ending up somewhere else. But, uh, you know, they, the, the guy ensured us that it would be arriving at the right spot. Um, that it probably already got there before we even got there. And that there was nothing to worry about. Um, and I didn't really buy it, but, uh, you know, what am I going to do? Just I'm not going to cop a fit. It's not this guy's fault. It, it's the airline trying to get a, you know, whatever. Uh... So anyway, then when we arrived about five minutes later, we got a text from uh, a text from United saying like, "Hey, uh, your bags are going to be arriving on a different flight." They ended up going to San Francisco, obviously. Um, and then, so we had to go to baggage claim and issue a thing where they're going to deliver them to us. I have like my work clothes and stuff in there. I have uh, my deodorant in there, which I, you know, I have two deodorants. I brought a backup because sometimes I misplace one. Those are the two deodorants that I have, period. Um, I have... Uh, Jackie has her medication. All, literally, 100% of her makeup. Um, because we were doing a big family thing, so she took it all with us. With her, just in case. And, uh... Yeah, and then we got a thing saying, like, hey, uh, we don't know where your bags are. Um, we'll keep an eye out as soon as we find it we'll let you know we'll send you a text back every uh, 12 hours keeping you notified keeping you updated on our search for your bags um, or for your bag your singular bag um, and you know I have to go to work tomorrow I have like a, a super nice pair of shoes in there that I only wear about three times a year um, if that many, that frequently. Um, but basically, 
and I know it's not it's not any one person's fault. It's a corporation that puts more emphasis on like cramming as many bodies into a a tube. Uh, because oh, so here's the thing that happened that was really frustrating about the whole thing. Uh, we when we got there after most of the people on the flight directly to um, Seattle were pushed around from other locations. Um, they basically told us that, uh, hey, we're completely full, we overbooked. If anybody wants a voucher, you can take a voucher. If you don't want a voucher, um, we still need someone to check their bags. And so not only did they, like, screw a whole lot of people out of their, uh, out of their stuff, they then basically said, also, just, just FYI, we don't have room for the people that we put on this flight. Um, and we don't have room for people's stuff on this flight. Um, so, you know, I'm a little bit frustrated. It's not the end of the world. Um, I don't like to get, like, overly worked up. There's this guy on the flight who was, like, fucking screaming he was like red-faced and furious and like making a big ass of himself in front of his kid and everybody else and like just looking like a goddamned fool uh screaming at this guy he's like i've been waiting for all yeah, for for three hours and they're changing and you know the weather was the weather was bad whatever i was pretty pissed about it too but i'm not gonna blame some schmuck some schmo some guy on the floor uh, for the unfortunate situation we're in, because, you know, and his his whole thing was like, Sir, there's nothing I can do about it, I don't have control over the weather, I don't have control over things. And the guy just got more berate, more uh, irate, and more upset, and just like, was glowing red by the end. Just like, so furious that he couldn't see straight, and his kid, his, his kid's just like, you know, whatever. And this guy's like, I want a, I want a direct line to your your investors line. Like, I put money into this company, I put money into the stocks, and you guys are treating me like this. So, you know, he was very, very, uh, very entitled in not getting his, uh, his full Richie Rich experience. And while I understand his frustration, what I do not understand is his fucking entitlement. And I want to go ahead and say to everyone right now, if you feel like you're being mistreated by a corporation, fucking taking it out on the little guy is like the stupidest fucking thing you can do because one, it's not going to fix your situation in any way, two, you're going to give someone else like the worst possible day, and three, uh, you're going to give yourself a fucking, you know, cardiac arrest. This guy looked like his blood pressure was spiking. Uh, in front of our eyes and you know I just I, I kind of turn and look away when shit like that's going on because those people are fucking embarrassments and people should be uh, embarrassed to even see them well, and if you think that that's a way to handle something g getting out of hand you need to learn that it's not you, you need to realize that you're being a big dumb fucking baby um, that being said like I don't really ever want to fly United or oh fuck um, damn uh, United or Frontier ever again um, just because like such miserable experiences but I, I, I know that the the real big truth of this matter is is that all airlines are getting this way uh, we've all seen the like Chinese standing only prototypes for airlines uh, on Reddit or whatever. We've all heard the rumors of it being, you know, nobody over 250 pounds or whatever, or they have to pay double because of, you know, them taking up more than one comfortable seat or whatever. We, we've all heard the horror stories and the urban legends and the uh, myths, but like the, the big thing is like, I don't mean this as an insult to buses, I mean this quite the opposite. Um, buses have to transport people pretty quickly and pretty continuously. Um, and a lot of times they don't have super high uh, 
fuel costs or anything like that. So they tend to do a good job on the cheap for a lot of people. Um, airplanes, on the other hand, are piles of shit these days. If you're not richy rich, uh, if you're not a fucking, you know, millionaire, if you're not chartering your own private jet, you're suffering to get where you need to go. And the thing is, it's the feed over the fire principle. We don't have an option most of the time that isn't suck up and deal with it. Um, if you're lower class, you're gonna have a terrible experience at the uh, airport, and that's just too fucking bad. Like, it's, you know, it's one of those capitalism in actions kind of kind of situations where no one wants to admit to it, but like, this is, this is the end result. They want to give as little and make as much. Uh, people seem to think that capitalism in action will lead to everybody getting the best experience because the market decides that, but like that very idea tends to ignore the fact that people with less are going to have less. They're going to get a worse situation. Damn, not very good, but not the worst. It's just like you know, it's kind of one of those like Man, if I have to, like, lower my magnificence or whatever, uh, or raise my magnificence, then I want to raise it with something a little bit better than that. But we're not, we're not starving to death right now in this game. Starving for keys, as per SUL. I don't regret opening that blue chest, even though all it gave us was the uh, bait launcher. Bait launcher proved useful for at least a floor. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, the cool thing about the trip was uh, meeting Jackie's family. It was actually really nice. She's got some good people in there. She, I met one of her old friends from uh, high school who just happened to have moved out to Denver, which was crazy. Um, Denver's a pretty city. I don't think, after living in Seattle, I'm easily impressed. Um, I thought it was nice. I didn't think it was even, even held a freaking candle to Seattle, though. And that's not, like, some sort of weird patriotism. That's just, like, honest to God, look at it after, uh, this. Like, too spread out. A lot of subdivisions. Maybe just in the area we were in. But, like, it really felt more, uh like it was a place that was growing into something and not a place that really felt developed yet. Like they're still waiting for the development part of things to kind of build up. Dang, where the fuck are some keys? Lord. But uh, I don't know, I had a good time overall. It's really good to be back, just because a lot of family, a lot of, a lot of family, and they are well off. They are a well-to-do family, which always makes me feel super out of place as like someone who's a little bit less well off. Like, you know, I, I'm not embarrassed of my job at all. I don't feel any uh, responsibility to anyone about what I do for a living. I actually feel pretty grateful for my position um, in life, but like every time I got asked what do you do for a living and I said bartender there was that, that one moment of like, this is something he's going to grow out of, uh, followed very uh, closely by, by the realization that I actually enjoy it and I want to continue doing it, and like a switch from like, you know, ah oh, the folly of the youth to well, you know, they're, they're my my daughter was a bartender and she was making good money and yada yada yada. There's there's always this weird backpedaling that uh, comes along with telling someone that you're in the service industry, no matter how happy, content, or well you're doing for yourself. Um, <laughs> especially people who, you know, are doing extremely well for themselves, or at any point were doing extremely well for themselves. Because some of them are mostly. Uh, not, a, not many of them, but like some of them, of course, are slightly beyond their heyday. But they all have big, 
freaking honking families, dude. Just kids and kids and kids and kids. Like, I met uh, Jackie's uh, grandfather, who had eight kids. Uh, he was freaking wonderful, by the way. I, I, I had a lot of misgivings uh, based on the kind of, like, preview I was getting from people, but, like, you know, German immigrant, great, great, incredibly great stories, uh, interesting life, really smart guy, he's, he turned 85, I think, and, uh, that was part of the reason everybody got together where he was, and, uh, just, like, still sharp, still, like, is really exciting to see someone uh, so vivacious and emotive, and uh, he's telling stories. We were playing charades, and he was jumping up and doing stuff. And I kind of, I kind of hate the like, uh, oh fuck! I kind of hate the um, the whole oh fuck. Okay, okay. We don't really need the skeleton key, guys, but. Let's just think about this. With the Sheldon key, we don't need to do a whole bunch of extra fighting like we do right now. Ooh, that was a bad dodge. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And you know, I I hate I hated myself for it, but I got into some arguments with like with Jackie's mom. I got I, I felt like pretty dumb about getting roped into those. Uh, but it felt like a real ropening, um, where it was like the question was brought up and it was kind of like, kind of an of course you agree kind of thing. And then uh, since I didn't, it was kind of, it hung pregnantly in the air, let's say. Um, like how I felt about X or Y or whatever. You feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. I kind of got to burn some steam about the whole bullshit, and I feel a little less stressed about it. I mean, I'm not completely unstressed about it, but... It's just insane. I, 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 like, I have no faith in flight anymore if you're not a millionaire. And that's... I guess that's most things these days. If you're not a millionaire, you're going to get the shorter end of the stick. What are you about to do? Oh, you're actually getting one? Well, Jackie's seeing if she can get a refund. They're, uh, they're, of course, they have it written somewhere like, we don't offer refunds, even if we throw your shit into the river. Um, but it seems like they, they might, if you are persistent enough, one of those kind of situations. Yo, that was very close. Even after the blank, I almost stole beefed it there. Um, and we'll beefed Unwellington there. Don't do any more of the fire stuff. There we go. Keys. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We're getting a bunch of things. We're getting Daruma and we're getting the freaking no, I think I want to keep the drill though. Shellington key for the curse. Is the room worth it? The room was kind of worth it. I just feel bad about buying the drill. Now, do you have a sight? Hidden tech time. So I think this is. I flip a table, everything stops. Um, you got a little boy climbing on your seat back there. Do we want Daruma? Or do I feel like I'm going to get some more kind of blanks situations and not need Daruma? There's also the possibility of a rat fight. And that would make the room pointless, so I think we might just stick with the drill.
Oh, he turned around. I don't usually get a, uh, above this guy. Thanks, Windows Defender. Just popping up. No one ask for that information. Whoa, camera. That was fucking weird. This room's a dead end, huh? Dude, the money is off. <gasps> Charts. I hate this particular trap room. Because of how stupid I am. What? With the magnificence, we got ourselves a red chest here? Do I want to use the drill? Wait, there's no reason to. Okay, we're going to go to the rat. So, Daroma's out. A ticket? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Ticket number. And I just threw those Wait, away. I found out. Or I'll find it. I don't know what it is. I, I mean, I know where they are. Here. Okay. I, I have them pulled up. I have it pulled up. Don't worry. I hate, hate, hate leaving Daruma behind, but, or leaving the, uh, wait! Did I say I was going to the rat? We're not going to the rat. What's wrong with me? Okay, that's fine. I just said we're not going to the rat, and then I picked up the rat thing. We just don't need the drill. Even if we go to the rat. Oh, dude, is it right here? No, good. Alright, well, we still got the old crest to do, or the, uh... Abby to do, so the drill will be useful there. Good dry run for the rat fight anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I, I feel really... Like, sh I feel strange about it, all of this, because I don't like getting upset about Shit that, that, like, getting upset doesn't really do anything, you know? Like, it's not gonna solve the problem. It's not gonna fix anything. If anything, it's just gonna be like that one guy just raising my blood pressure and shortening my life. But, like, it starts to feel like, I mean, and this is obvious, but, like, kind of starts to feel like if you don't get angry and you don't say something, it's just, like, being taken advantage of by corporations forever. Um, and I don't know how to, I don't know what to do other than, like, express my distaste for that kind of bullshit. Like, it's just, it's unacceptable. I, I don't know. My wife's freaking medication is somewhere, and it's all kind of like, I, I, know about how complicated it must be to move a thing from place A to place B and keep everything together. But I also know that like constantly shifting people around is basically demanding that that stuff gets lost. Like it's basically making a situation where there's no way at all to keep the stuff in the right place and then saying like, hey, we're sorry this thing happened. But guess what? It happened. Deal with it. You're not getting a refund because 
you signed up for us, you asked for this, etc., etc. But overall, it was pretty good to go on vacation, even if it was a family reunion that I was meeting for the first time. I, uh, I liked... Uh, I mean, I, I enjoyed everybody there. Yeah, give me one second. Please explain the reason for your recall. Recall, recall. Uh, Our bond was lost, and I need to end from it before I work more on medications that was made up. I'm under if something has happened after we spoke to an agent, and he assured us our bonds would arrive in Seattle before we even did. Our reservation was switched around several times last minute, and it's been an aggravating day. The United States done nothing besides provide us for yeah, I mean, I would say something about no one claiming responsibility and everyone just kind of uh, shrug. It felt like everyone shrugged the issue off and just hoped that it would take care of itself. That, that was the most frustrating thing about it was everyone kind of just saying like, eh, don't worry about it, it's going to be okay. And then no one doing anything to ensure that it was okay, you know? That's where my... Big upsetness was. I could have just gone and opened that, but I think we put the fuse out. Oops. Oh, no. What's up? Not What's not responding? The website? We got four full hearts and a half heart there. We got five hearts in case things go south on the boss. Oh, but yeah, the, the good thing, one of the best takeaways from the whole trip was uh, that I got pretty good at building some levels for. Mario Maker, and I'm like, I'm starting to feel a flow building. I'm pretty excited to get out of Mario 1, but uh, I have a, I have a strategy, I have a plan, I have a, an outline for what I want to do, and it involves being in Mario 1 zone a little bit longer. No one was yeah, that's, that's great. So yeah, we don't we don't know where our bag is. We just know that at some point we might get it delivered, and they might uh, it might be tomorrow or today. Technically, it's it's already Friday at like two in the morning, um, and it might be whenever they find it, because it seems like they don't have a good grasp on where exactly it is, um, and it doesn't seem like anybody seems super concerned about that. Besides us, but you know. They don't really care how we feel about it, is the general sense that I'm getting. It's it's just... The fact that it's like these layers of corporate excuse making make it hard to not be pissed off at like the people we spoke to because the, the company is assuming absolutely no responsibility. They're saying it's kind of a just like shit happens kind of attitude. Which is great if you hate repeat customers, I guess. Like, I don't know. But the, the thing that sucks, and I think it's the thing that they're freaking banking on, is that every company, every airline is getting worse. Alaska is the only one that I think we've had uh, no... The only major one in this area that we've had no major qualms with. Uh, Frontier was... An uncomfortable back spasm of a wreck, especially for Jackie. Um, and, you know, no good came of United as of tonight. So, alright, I gotta use as much Garuma as possible. Um, There's a lot of stuff that's pretty easy to dodge here, so 
are pretty easy to roll through and get a Daruma off, but I don't need to be uh, too greedy about the Darumas. I don't need to go for it when it's easier to just dodge regular style. Oh, another thing I decided, uh, which I'd already decided before, but I decided even more so, was uh, I am all freaking aboard the Tesla bus. Um, there were a lot of Teslas out in Colorado, which I kind of, I expect from what I think of as bigger cities, uh, but Denver didn't feel very city-like from what's like growing to be my expectation of a city. Um, ooh, that was an FOK, by the way. But, uh, it's still good. Ooh, another boss killer. Um, but you know, seeing all those, all those freaking Teslas was just like, I just couldn't shut up about it. Like, I know I annoyed the piss out of everyone, including my wife, talking about Teslas the whole trip, but what am I going to do? Not do that? <laughs> no. Oh my god, these guns. Thank you. Good customer. We love you. Yeah, they don't, they don't give a shit about us as people. Also, please allow 7 to 20 business days. For a response? For a refund. Okay. <laughs> Just give us like a, most of a month. Well, business days, that could actually be more than a month. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's true. First, we'll go up to I have 15 spare hearts on this floor. Holy fuck. Alright, we're gonna work on Polaris for a little bit, but we're gonna Mega Hand if it doesn't do that. No Mega Hands. Okay. Someone on this trip, Jackie, decided that she thinks she's my boss. But she ain't. Sh Shaint is the name of my boss. My boss? Come on. Pop up. I like that too, baby. It's like, look at it. It smells like this. That's my comb from... No, that's what I have to use. Your shitty comb. <laughs> it came with my, uh, my hair cutter. It doesn't even comb your hair. I mean, it does. Yeah, you kind of have to cover most of it with your hand. Polaris is one of those weapons that, like, actually kind of sucks because it forces your hand. I don't like weapons in this game that demand you do certain things. I, I, I'm starting to grow real, real tired of... Uh, of even what's it called uh, metronome which is like the one of the best items in the fucking game um, just because you get stuck yeah yeah keep those fucking keys coming uh, you get stuck using garbage until it's completely bone dry and then I don't know metro hand I mean uh, uh, pulse oh god what is this thing called Polaris I can at least switch off of without any punishment at all, but if I get hit at any point ever, it becomes more of an obligation than a fucking benefit. Dang, dude, what is... alright. Get... Ugh. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. 
I love you, baby. I'm glad to be home. I'm glad it's just me and you again. Yeah. I love your family, though. You do? Some of them. Can you imagine, like... God, I can't even fucking imagine her right now, like... Growing up with my mom. <laughs> can you imagine, like, that being, like, the influence? Like, what if he turned out like that? Well... It's like the thought was in my head my entire childhood. I cannot see that. Well, I think a lot of people... A, a, a lot of, like... People... Ah! Tend to go... Well, a lot of people have fucked up parents, yes, but like, a lot of people learn from that more than just adopt it as regular. Especially if it's stressful to you as the kid, you're not likely to be like, I'm gonna be exactly like that. Um, like, I love my mom, but there were some there were some dark times in my childhood, and uh, things were not good. And I learned a lot of what not to do do through her actions and I learned even more through my shitty dad's actions you know if I grew up acting like either of my parents I'd be a fucking well that sounds awful to say but like I, I, I feel like I'd be much worse as uh, as a husband and you know be harder to put up with a lot of you can idolize your dad um like I, I Uh, yeah, I think it, it's good to... It, I, I know that people like think that the best situation... Oh god, is for everything to be great the entire time you're growing up. But I think some some bad teaches good. Like, as shitty as that sounds, like you're more likely to learn by being in an awful situation and seeing what not to do than you are from everything just being great forever. That's why, like... Like, my cousin... Well, my cousin's... I was just about to say your cousins were acting like little shits the whole time, and I think their parents were are just oh, wonderful to them. Yeah. yeah, like were, are just wonderful to them at all times, and they have no boundaries, and they're gonna they're also be that. Like raised by sometimes multiple yeah, they're gonna be that way forever. I mean, I, I saw so in in a lot of in a lot of those kids, I saw a lot of the like Amher's douchebags <laughs> in a lot of those kids. Like, just like everything goes my way or fucking else. Like. I don't know. And I... Yeah. I and mean, I guess also the ones that... For a reason, their kids like that are the ones that have been used to Because they... Uh, everything's going... Going rosy. Cheeksy. Chef's fun. kiss. For all of them, you know? Hey, guys. How about back the fuck off? You frozen-ass punks. Um... Oh yeah, people kept asking how how Eric was doing. I didn't know what that meant. Oh, well, I thought that a number of times, but. Yeah, like that's kind of the feeling I was getting, but but like. I'm not saying like I want to see more misery from your family or anything like that. I'm just saying like I I think that there's a there's some good to be gained from rough situations, and that's not just like you know trying to make the best out of a bad situation. It's actually character building to have some difficulty. Like well, they grew up like the brothers and sisters. They grew up like, not great. Like they were they were raised by well, there's fucking eight of them. Like, I don't know how anybody would yeah. have any money with eight goddamn children. Always in hand me downs and, you know, kind of had a rough at school and kind of went head out and kind of only had each other, you know, kind of all that. Like, I don't know, I think it shaped a lot of the sort of interesting questions. Yeah. Yeah, she seemed to have. I,
weird. No, I'm not saying that they're bad people. I'm just saying, like, the difference between someone who has everything kind of handed to him, the whole silver spoon thing, and someone who has learned that, like, not everything's a given because of a rougher situation is pretty pronounced a lot of time. I think it, it, it sounds like an old man kind of thing to say, but, like, learning the value of a dollar is important at a young age because, you know, I, I think some of, those, some of your cousins are just... Used to oh, yeah, always have it. Have their own bedroom and marble bathroom. They live in a, like a real, real mansion. Mm -hmm. Like Uncle Wax has, has been on the news and stuff, like talking about his uh, vulture schemes or whatever. Remember that? No, I don't remember his vulture schemes. I remember you said somebody did some kind of shady stuff at some point, but. That's about. Sure, the best thing where you buy a company that's going down and then just like, close it. I, I guess I don't see how you make money off of that. But. I think you basically just scrap what's left. Hmm. And like, don't give a shit about the employees that are working for those companies and stuff. Hmm. Well, anyway. It's not marvelous. Yeah. Anyway, I just, you know. I guess all I'm saying is, like, you can learn from anything, and it's better to, it's better to realize it before you're, you know, struggling for the first time and you have no experience at overcoming those struggles. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not trying to get into, like, the specifics of who in your family is, like, bad or whatever like that. I, I don't want to be too d direct or derogatory or anything like that, but, uh... I just think in general it's important for people to overcome some things at a young age to see that it takes work to accomplish things. Like nothing nothing should be easy and kind of handed to you. Or not nothing should be, but like if that's all you experience, that's all you know. Yeah, it's very important to what it is to learn. You think that struggles are just unfair and that's why you get a lot of people who just who th Or just not even your parents cutting you off, just like you being on your own for once, like, I don't know. But I, I feel like a lot of those kids are probably safe, yeah. But, whatever. I love you. I love you too, baby. God, they keep starting me right in front of those fucking things. Not a fan. It's, re it's really weird to not have any uh, synergies with the, the Mega Ham. And to have a lot of other stuff going on. I don't even know what else could use. Alright, well, let's just go Polaris until I get hit like one second in. And... Just this. Hmm. I really want to use Daruma before I can't use it anymore after this fight. Good shit. Wow. I felt myself getting real serious during that fight. Real serious face. We're gonna have to switch guns if the if he calls in the rats. But so far so good. We can do more Daruma out of <laughs> a lot of situations here. Um
I'm actually pretty happy with the way that that one broke down. Yeah, this is this is more of what I was talking about with the Darumin out. Darumin out! What the fuck, game? As soon as I switch it off, you send in the rats? Daruma, you're so lovely. God damn, that's been really good too. Let a couple more of those land and then regular blank. Daruma's re. Uh, re. What's the word? Activated. Okay, that was one stage one and two flawless there. That was a little weird. Hmm. Membrane is a good weapon. Dang. What's the timing on that one? The moon. Raker or whatever is not a good weapon, Moonbeamer. Oh, fuck. Alright, at least that little punchy does doesn't knock you, uh... Knock the stars out of you. Whoa, fuck! I just scratched my head. I still feel myself using like my entire body to time some of this stuff, like really jumping into it. Come on, give me something I can freaking counter. That's horseshit, dude. He's gonna go nuts now, isn't he? Alright, well I didn't get the full rap flawless, but we did pow it up. It was a real powabunga. There's two seconds left. A little bit more curse. Not wrong with that. Another boss weapon. Another boss weapon. Room clear. And the thing that really sucks is the, uh... One of the few things I actually really want to keep when I do... Any of this is, uh... Dang, I, had, I have so many boss weapons. Is the cheese bag. That's the thing that interacts so poorly with Daruma. We'll see how the end of the floor is. I might get rid of it. Because I, I do like Daruma. I think Daruma is more valuable than the ability to grab and throw cheese. But until then, the resourceful sack is all we got. I can't believe we kept Polaris through that whole floor. We didn't have to do anything with it. There's no guarantee, there's no even likelihood really that we're gonna uh, keep it through this one, but it is neat. It means for the first time ever I flawlessed the major fights, the fights that are related to my individual health on the rat. Well, it's not the first time. It's like the second time. You know, I'd really freaking like a goddamn uh, familiar. One little thing. Yeah, he's dead already. I don't really need this unless we get a vampire. 
Don't really need a vampire. Oh, wow. Jackie, are you watching Scrubs? Okay, sounds like it. Was it Community? I gotta close the door. I gotta close the door. I love you, baby. Why is that on the floor? Let's save that. That being said, since we have a full, not even a, not just a half thing, we should just use Polaris until we lose it, or even after we lose it. Uh, let's wait. If I get if I get junk, I can talk about the weird hubris of doing that. I don't need the health, so it's like a very strange hubris. It's a hubris of lowered expectation. My magnificence is too high for me to be super dupe. Worried about getting good stuff like junk, but I, I think junk is actually like a B rank or something. I wonder if I've ever, like, even once successfully used the, uh, invincibility from the, from the rat guy, or from the rat boots. Oh, God! Wow. If I did, it's been completely unintentional. Or not completely unintentional, but unplanned. Accidental. Incidental. Occidental. We'll go ahead and use this now because we got a boss coming up. And I want a full ammo of that boss. It's the killy pee the killy peas. I have been, like, severely fucking up. Oh my god, their timing is so freaking off right now. Oh, because of the slow bullets from... Whatchamacallit. Uh, I think Gunzing is what I actually want to be using here. Uh, I think about it for a goddamn second. Those are two good piercing weapons, but... Mm. God, I have like reflecting rolling eye uh, Daruma and the resourceful sack, all of which like work against one another basically. if I went incredibly well. This might be one of those runs where, one of those very rare runs where I don't even worry about trading things for money. Okay, well. That gives us three curse. All right, well, I, I changed my mind. We're gonna trade some stuff for money. I just used a shitload. Our boots are good. Don't care what anybody says. Helix bullets, or Helix gun is not good. Got three curse now.
Man, that's just giving me thing after thing that I don't want to keep. I'm going to regret it if I get rid of it. I'm going to do it. Let's, we, we get the resourceful sack often enough. Let's fucking grow up a little bit here. <gasps> oh god, no. No, I did it again. That's like the 10,000th fucking time. <sighs> okay, well. Let's get ghost bullets. Uh, I suck. Throw away the sorcerer sack, and then immediately afterwards threw away the Daruma. I have done that so many times, it's not even worth mentioning at this point. Holy shit. I gotta stop switching between dropping guns and dropping items. We're okay though. This run is still in a goddamn golden place. Also, hello Tokestan. How you doing? Popped in just in time for me to make a fool of myself. Dang. Why can't I get that right? I don't need keys. A do a do 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 do. Well, anyway. We're doing, <laughs> I'm doing great. Uh, just got home from a stressful vacation. Not super stressful. It was, it was, mo it was more good than bad. I did, but I then threw away Daruma for no, no reason. That's pretty foolish. That's not something a smart man would do, is all I'm saying. Hey, cool. Hey, not cool. That wasn't the action of an intelligent non-fool. Also, I really should have checked my uh, synergies before I dropped all that shit. That was like only the second time I've ever flawless the rat. But I mean, I, I was pretty stacked for it. All right, I'm gonna leave that for the thing. You, guys, you know what thing. The Polaris. Excuse me, excuse me. Backup hearts. Old Knight's Helm. We should buy this. That's just two pieces of armor, so it's not worth it. Especially since I'm I'm really hopeful of there being another shop on this floor. Dang. I'm gonna learn to hold the charge. Man, what's up with this coolness? And what's up with it paying out in straight up crap? Hmm? One good thing followed by a bad. Honestly, I'm freaking I know I know I'm like jinxing myself to lose it like right now, but I'm freaking loving the uh the Guan stones. Six freaking Guan Stones? That's nuts. You know, I don't actually even know if those were. Ah, uh, our curse is okay. We're only at three. That's unnecessary. There it is. Aw, oh, man. Well. 
Chest friendship's good. Vorpal gun is essentially free. Um, not actually good. I don't think it has any synergies. I'm just gonna shoot through that guy since we got ammo. Up the freaking wazoo right now. Out the wazoo or up it? Probably out. Probably not up the wazoo. That seems weird. Sounds wrong. Glass Canon. We'll keep it, but it doesn't really have a place in this overabundant situation. Take out one of them. Thank you. Two twenty-five is where I want to stop if I'm going to use the red for full. Spawn. Thank you. Is that another? No, it's another green. Holy crap! Hey, <laughs> it's like I don't want to use this blank. But all we got back was two blanks, so. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it while we still have, still have the stuff. Now nah, we need this in the backup spot to deal with skulls. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we still have the reflection though. It's not really as good as a blank or a uh, or an absorption, but it's something. his health. I really, like, this is a very lucky run. Um, and it's not even a lucky run that's, like, dependent on synergies, which is great, because I usually feel when I come back from a break, come back from a vacation, that I'm going to play a little shittier. And I still have the opportunity to do that. I can still, I can still screw some stuff up. But, uh, Ooh, I almost messed up that roll. Um, but I feel like I've done a pretty good job with uh, with this run, and I've been given like freaking mountain of opportunity to do well. It's not just me. Part of it. I mean, the bigger part of it. Maybe not the bigger part of it, but a big part of it has been the stuff that's dropped. Even the gold gun, which I was talking shit on, got us through those uh, those early bosses flawlessly. It's a really good weapon for uh, for early on. Dragon's dead. What's that? Tobastan, he was here. Tobastan? A little bit earlier. I don't know if he's still here, but say hello. Whoa. Regardless. Hmm? Are you in Tomo? Nope. Well, I will be when I leave this floor, but I still want to. I still have to clear up this floor a little bit. How's community? Same as it ever was. Hey, Tobasan says hello. Oh no! That hand doesn't listen. <clears throat> oh, weird. Because you put them up to your mouth and allow them to do that? You encourage it? It'd be weird if he didn't think that. Dang it. I keep using that thing a little bit too much. Uh, oh god! I actually thought I would... Yeah, I hit level 3 again while I'm already on level 3. Is that gonna start happening? Man, the, the uh, time travel stuff... 
screws with things. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say what I always say. I am not good at video games. I am persistent at this particular video game. So it's pretty easy to get uh, as good as me at Gungeon. You just play it a whole bunch. That's literally the only skill I have is just continuing. Just going forward with it regardless of frustration or shortcomings or I mean I've had I haven't had many losing streaks but I've had losing streaks even after I thought I was good at the game I thought I was good enough at the game hmm So you're in the Netherlands? How uh, how are things out there? I heard you guys have like the world's best internet. Ah, oh, it's gonna say level three every time I kill somebody. No. Oh god, I was standing over a pit. I think I've gotten so many kills that it's like it thinks I'm on the next level, or because I flipped a table at a weird time. It's like counting kills that aren't kills. I don't I don't really know how how this glitch works. I know that it happens all the time, though, when you're having really good runs. Our internet here is uh, controlled 100% by corporations, and those corporations are profit-driven in the extreme at the point of, like, basically being regional monopolies, and then... Uh, pretending that there is competition between them, doing everything legally and some stuff illegally to create loopholes in which only the big telecoms can benefit while any challengers basically drown out pretty quickly. I just heard a, lot, a, a handful of you. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true. That's something I don't think about. I was actually talking to uh, my wife's grandfather, who is German, uh, while we were on this trip, and he was talking about how uh, how huge the United States is and how different that makes everything. His experiences out here were like, uh, you know, he was here from I think the fifties on maybe earlier than the 50s, because he fled World War II. Um, oh no! Oh god, that was close. Uh, he fled World War II um, in Germany, came to the U.S., and then went back to, uh, to Germany. I, I actually don't know if he fled directly to the U.S., but I know he left Germany, then went back, um, and they needed him. He, he was a photographer, he was a chemist, uh, and he went back to Germany for a time, but I think then ended up deciding that the United States was where he wanted to be, uh, or he and his wife decided that, and uh, setting down roots, but like taking lots of trips, driving to Mexico and things like that, and basically just the expansiveness of everything. It was crazy to him. Don't destroy my chest. Okay. I have so many freaking guns right now. But regardless, I still hear great things about the Netherlands. Uh, Sweden, Switzerland, the Netherlands. I hear a lot of good about from a tech internet kind of standpoint. That and uh, South Korea. I hear the most good about concerning technology and the internet. Regardless, I love hearing more about uh, the rest of the world. The United States is kind of like too insular. Feels like it's up its own butt too much of the time. It's always nice to hear about other experiences. Yeah. 
What's up, baby? I feel like that and the uh, the all black production of, uh, of Oklahoma called Alabama is like a recurring joke in Tina Fey inspired shows. Was Alabama from Community or from Thirty or Thirty Rock or Kimmy Schmidt? They made that joke. It, it seems like it's all of them. Do you remember Tracy Morgan on that show? And blackface, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. And I think calling that show classy is maybe maybe a bit of revisionist history. Oh god. Alright. Let's do this Ooh. part right. <gasps> Woo! Had to blank there. That sucked. That was a dumb spot to need to blank, but I'd rather do it when you need it than not do it and lose the LF early. Just leave your butt in your pants, please, Jackie. Because you're predictable. Do you ever think that about yourself? Predict table. Only three blinks. That was a little bit excessive <laughs> on the blanks. Sorry, I'm just gonna finish this. The last boss fight. Ooh. -hoo. Ooh. -hoo. All right. We can make it through here. They're slower. We can do this one easily. There we go. That's the. That's the major thing you want to dodge. I want to save as many blanks for the next phase as possible. I think that's true. I think the United States has a particular brand of uh, being up its own butt, where it kind of it thinks it's. It thinks it's the capital of the, the planet. Um, and you don't get that as much from many European countries. Or at least in my experience. What's up, baby? Yep. That's like the basis of that whole play. <laughs> yeah! Okay, we're good. This looks like it's going to be an LF if I don't... Screw it. I can get close enough to do that one right. Can we get close enough to do this one right? There we go. We did it! That's a guaranteed LF now. That's a POW FOK LF. Or a FOK POW LGLF. That is an everything. I rarely get everything these days. I've been getting a good number of nothings. Or I don't get any of those. I don't get any of the little dancing doodads at the bottom. We went to Colorado uh, for a family reunion um, on my wife's side, my wife's mother's side, um, and it was really good. Colorado, I, I expected to be blown away by its like kind of hippie, hothead culture, um, but I live in Washington State, which has already got legalized weed, and it just feels like more of a an entity, a polity. Denver was cool, but it wasn't. It was nothing like Seattle. Um, so I just kind of felt not underwhelmed, but I think my expectations were a bit too high, you know? We had six, so when we got, I wonder when the last time we got hit was, because I know we lost a glass glowstone, but that might have been the only time we got hit. Did we only get hit once on this run? I'll have to look back through it to see. Yeah, the, the problem is on mine. It's, it was an expectation thing. Um, and living in Seattle kind of made that a little harder. But that was a freaking good run. Dang. I feel really good about that.